One of the ways humanity has been able to curb pandemics for centuries has been through the use of vaccines. Now, in response to COVID-19, several vaccines have been discovered. But good as the discovery of these vaccines are, they have been received with a lot of skepticism arising from trust deficit and lack of storage facilities, especially in developing countries. The federal government has since disclosed plans to acquire at least 42 million doses of the vaccines to inoculate at least 140 million Nigerians, about 70 percent of its population within the next two years. But even more critical to the distribution chain is the problem of storage facilities to preserve the effectiveness of the vaccines, one of which require at least minus 70 degrees Celsius. To ensure the integrity of the initial 100,000 doses of COVID-19 vaccines, the country's primary health care development agency has acquired at least three ultra cold chain machines to preserve the vaccines with a total capacity of 2,100 liters. We have more than enough space for the 100,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine that will be brought in the first instance. As we're here, there is going to be continuous monitoring of the vaccines when they come. We understand that it's a potential logistical uh, nightmare to be able to manage these vaccines. But we're also aware that apart from the Pfizer vaccines, there are other vaccines that are in the portfolio of the COVAX and other uh, vaccine candidates. Our plan is not to over-invest in ultra cold chain equipment, given that there are other vaccines that can be kept between plus 2 and plus 8 degrees Celsius. But what we do have coming to the country is the Pfizer vaccine that requires about minus 70 degrees Celsius. Nigeria targets to inoculate 40% of its population in 2021 and another 30% in 2022. But that is also dependent on if the agency received the first 100,000 doses of the COVID-19 vaccine by the end of January. Aiba Ilya, NCBN News, Abuja.